Hey everyone, my name is Ty J. Elliott. I'm a senior in illustration and this is my BFA, Hint of Color at Work. So my, my BFA is a collection of portraits I did of artists that are currently at work or doing work. The general gist was that I wanted to do something that focused on process. I have spent a lot of time refining my process, and so for my BFA I wanted to focus on displaying other people's process. Every piece that's part of this BFA fits that idea in one way or another. They're someone doing something, or practicing to do something, or preparing to do something. There are smaller accompanying pieces of items or tools that I found while interviewing my subjects. There are two different types of drawings here. Uh, my traditional style, which is a more photographic style, a more realistic style. But then I was getting a lot of positive feedback on this other style I was testing out with ink. And so for the last few pieces of my BFA, I really pushed that style since it's not really something I'm used to and I wanted to experiment a little bit. So there was a pretty in-depth process of creating these images. The very first part was to get reference. In order to do that, I visited some artists that I knew, uh, people who were working on different creative projects, and I just basically interviewed them. I asked them to pick a space that they felt comfortable in, and I asked them a bunch of questions about their work day, and then I asked them to sort of like work in front of me. At, while they were working in their sort of natural working environment, I took a ton of photographs. I believe for one of my pieces I took well over, uh, I think it was like 70 different photographs. After I uh, get all of my photographic reference, all of my different angles, the different things I want to capture, I scroll through all of it, pull it, pull it all up uh, on my computer, put it all on Photoshop, and make a collage of sorts of different elements that I pulled. Like maybe I like the way the leg looked in this photograph, but maybe I liked the background in this photograph. After I'm done collaging all of the images together, I work on the ink versions of my finished pieces. After I would make the complete ink layer, I would go back in and use color to emphasize certain areas or items or ideas, things that I learned and thought about that might have been important during the process of the interview. If I really, really connected with the person during the conversation or the interview and I, I really enjoyed the ink drawing, I would then go in and do a uh, realistic pencil drawing to sort of accompany it, um, to really push my process into the BFA. When deciding what to focus on in my photographs and what objects to keep and what, you know, things to color in, there was usually a combination of what we talked about when I interviewed my subjects, what items were important or stood out to me, things that we mentioned, so in some cases like inside jokes almost. Sort of just questioning that comes up a lot and I think for a lot of the different decisions I made they were based off of either I thought this would look really nice, it would draw the attention of my viewer, it would you know lead the eye around the page in the way that I wanted them to go, or it was, just an, it was just an element of the experience that I went through when I was doing the interview. So most of the inspiration for these pieces was my favorite artists. I, I draw a lot of inspiration from people like Kent Bellows, um, people who do other types of portraits. I went to Patapsco High School and Center for the Arts, so everyone or almost everyone, I believe, had some sort of major that was related to art. So there was drama, band, dance, visual arts. There were these interesting posters, black and white posters, of kids participating in their major hung up throughout the rest of the building. I feel like my BFA kind of goes back to that, back to my days in high school a little bit.
So I, I feel like I can answer that question in two ways. Uh, the more literal way I can answer it would be to say that I spent most of my time working on these at home in my room. Some of these drawings took well over 70 hours to make, and so I just spent my time doing it in comfortable locations, but also because they took so long to make. I did them in a large variety of locations. My uh, process actually allows, actually allows me to pack up and move where I'm going relatively easily compared to some other people. It's not as easy as like a digital process where I can just take my work with my laptop and maybe a drawing tablet, but it's still not the hardest if I know, if I organize things, keep them in like a tool box and got my portfolio case and everything somewhere around here. Where, where I would start would usually be looking for a good candidate for my, to be my subject. I would walk around my school, which was a great place to find subjects since it's a school for the arts, so, you know, there was a lot of people who were actively working on something. If I just walked around the different departments, I could just ask somebody, hey, can I talk to you? Can, we, can I take a picture with you? Can I take a couple pictures of you to use in my BFA? There were a lot of people who were willing to help me out with that. There was uh, a point in time when I had maybe, I'd say maybe like five of these pieces, and I had started on one of these, and then one person who I was talking to about my BFA in the very beginning, rough stages of it, said that they really loved these and that they would love my BFA if I just did a bunch of these. I still went ahead and did these types of pieces anyway, but. The general idea I got towards the end of my BFA is that a lot of people really enjoyed these, this imagery. Um, there's a sense of motion and a sense of life that was captured in my line work. Towards the end of my BFA, there was a moment where I decided to do more pieces like this and just focus on the line work. Focus on the quality that was bringing life to my pieces, the perspective, the items, you know, the shading or lack thereof in some areas, those types of things. It also, uh, I think, makes the color a little bit more striking because it's a much larger contrast to have like color on, you know, white, black lines versus color on gray. Is that it? I think that's it. I want to thank everyone for coming to my 2020 BFA for illustration. Again, the whole project for me is called hint of color at work. At work's kind of like after a semicolon or I guess just a regular colon. In any case, thank you for coming. Uh, hope you have a good day and I hope everyone's staying safe. And until next time, keep dauntlessly forging forward.